There's a character in the Bible, a very prominent one, that if I ever said his name, you would understand exactly who I'm talking about. His name is Samuel. Little do we know that Samuel was becoming a priest with Eli, and the voice of God began to say his name. Samuel, Samuel. At this moment, Samuel got out of bed, ran to Eli, and said, did you call me? Here I am. Eli, not knowing what he was talking about, said, I, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. For the second time, the voice of God called out his name again. Samuel got out of bed, ran to Eli and said, did you call me? He here I am again. Eli shrugged his shoulders and said, son, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. For the third time, the voice of God called out his name again. Samuel rose out of bed, went to Eli and said, did you call me? Here I am. And at this moment, Eli understood that this was God calling Samuel. He told Samuel, next time you hear the voice, say these words, speak my Lord, for I am listening. Samuel heads back to bed and he hears the voice of God saying his name, Samuel, Samuel. This time, Samuel stayed in his bed and said, speak my Lord, for I am listening. At this moment, Samuel realizes that God has a very special plan for his life. And when it comes to this special season, in this different time in our generation, I believe that our church has been called to break barriers. Us as individuals has been called to confuse categories, wreck paradigms, upset prejudices. What we've got to realize is we've got to stop considering it common what we experience in the natural every single day. You see, when opportunity meets obedience, miracles happen. And how are we being obedient to the voice of God in this current situation we are in? You see, our church and us as a body has not been shaken. Psalm 16, eight says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord and with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. You see, faith is about allowing God to set the direction of your life without seeking the details. Faith doesn't eliminate fear. It enables you to handle it because we can be so certain in one breath and so confused in another. God doesn't casually tell us to not be afraid, yet he says, do not be afraid for I am with you. His voice is calling every single one of us today, in this moment, right now. And what we give attention to, we give authority to. Maybe a text is what needs your attention. Maybe someone else in need needs your attention. Maybe following through on that Bible plan needs your attention. Maybe you're not the only thing you need to think about, but maybe the people around you is exactly what God is calling you to right now. Today and forever, God is with you. Are you willing to listen to his voice and trust in him? We believe in the you. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. Honestly, we create content like this just for you. And uh, whether you're engaging with your friends and your family or whether it's just with the comments below, we would love for you to continue to do that. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and we hope to see you at the next video. Love you.